How's it going everyone? My name is Potato and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto Online video. Today we're going to be going over, covering, talking about, and showing off a really cool new feature that is included in the next gen version of the game, of course. Now, uh, before we get started with the video, I would just like to quickly announce a few things. One, November 18th, that's my birthday, so, uh, no, I'm kidding, it, it is my birthday, but we're getting off topic here, so what I really want to announce is that Grand Theft Auto V for the next gen consoles is officially released worldwide, so, for the most part, if you guys want to, you can now pick up Grand Theft Auto V, so that's really cool, uh, really excited for that, and throughout the day, and throughout, just whenever, I'm going to be posting, of course, daily Grand Theft Auto V content, so be sure to subscribe, if you are new around here, as we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers, and for the fact that I post daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content, if you guys want to stay up to date with that, be sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video if you do enjoy, and with all my spam and nonsense out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So, this cool new feature that's included into, Grand, or that's implemented into Grand Theft Auto 5 and GTA Online, it's basically a really minute feature, and that's what, like, that's what amazes me, you know, Rockstar didn't limit first person mode to just getting inside a vehicle and seeing what the interior looks like. They included things like this, just very minute details that overall make the game a whole lot better and just more enjoyable. So, if you go to any kind of clothing store and you put on any kind of sunglasses or any type of glasses that have a tinted lens to them or a different color lens and you go into first person mode, your screen will change. You will not just be seeing the clear, normal environment that you're used to seeing without glasses. Instead, say you put on a pair of purple shades with purple lenses, your screen is going to have a tint of purple on it. So that's a really cool new feature that has been implemented into Grand Theft Auto V. And I'm not too sure right now, I haven't tried to see if you could turn this on or off because, you know, it's a really cool feature. But after a while, I'm pretty sure it, it could get quite a bit annoying and hard to see just depending on what type of glasses you are wearing, of course. So uh, I'll have to look into that or if any of you guys know whether or not you can turn this on or off, uh, just let me know down in the comments. Very eager to read through all of the comments that you guys leave. I want to thank you guys so much for your continued support. It does mean the world to me and... Uh, I, I'm not sure as well if this works for masks. I, I don't think so, just depending on what type of mask maybe, but for the most part, I don't believe that this works for masks. So, uh, like I said, just a really cool little feature that Rockstar did implement into the game, and it just shows how much detail they went into when making Grand Theft Auto V and, and allowing you to utilize the first person mode feature. So, with that said, that just about wraps up the video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. And subscribe if you are new around here as we are on the uh, excuse me, as we're on the road to 100,000, of course. It's been a long day making content for you guys. But uh, with that said, that's just about it. You guys all take it easy, have a safe one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.